Hi guys. If you watched my video yesterday, you saw that I have COVID. Um, today's the fifth day, I think. Um, and I told you that I would give you an update after I had my appointment with the pain PT, the coach, my coach. Um, so I just wanted to give you a little update on what he's what he um, advised for me. I had a really good session with him and I told him that um, COVID wise, I feel like I'm doing pretty well, but I feel like um, my nervous system is really ramped up. Um, that somehow it, it's having the virus has in, affected my, my limbic system and I'm feeling a lot more anxiety and one symptom I have in particular that I've had for a long time is like really bad. <laughs> I don't even want to mention it because I don't want to trigger anybody. I usually am pretty open about things like that, but I don't want to um, put any ideas in anyone's head or anything. <laughs> so, um, so anyway, um, we talked for the first 15 minutes or so about that. And basically he said to me that the symptoms I'm having are still all from anxiety, from the nervous system, um, that it's a nervous system reaction. It's um, a state that's a little bit more elevated than the norm. So I'm feeling symptoms stronger because my nervous system is on high alert. So his advice to me was basically that I have to ride it out, that I need to get tougher. Um, don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid of the symptoms, just like I've been talking about all along. Um, be more firm and be more definitive in standing up to them and not letting the symptoms bully me. Um, he said that I need to make sure that I stay in the prefrontal cortex. Don't let the limbic system drive the bus, basically. I'm not saying his words, I'm saying my interpretation of his words, but basically, um, you know, you got to, we have to stay in that part of the brain that we're in control. We get to decide. We don't have to let the anxiety and fear and symptoms and all of that control us. We need to be strong and we need to face it. We need to face what we're feeling. We need to, to face the anxiety, the fear, and the heightened um, alert messages and stuff. So that was really um, the advice that he gave me. And I think most of us know that, but it's really, really hard, as you know, when you're in the midst of it. Um, I am having a hard time right now. I'm struggling because I feel like the COVID itself really hasn't been that bad. And I didn't feel scared about having COVID. So I'm like, where the heck's all the anxiety coming from? But somehow the virus has triggered it and um, I'm having a tough time. I am. But anyway, the, um, the 45 minutes of the coaching session after that part was actually all about emotions because with the brain PT, it's a little different than um, DNRS. It's mainly dealing with the underlying emotions that um, are the root of our sensations, symptoms, um, our nervous system impairment, basically. So we had about 45 minutes of dealing with emotional stuff, mostly from my past, and it was great. Like, we dug into some stuff that was very helpful to me. It, it helped me to walk through a couple of things that um, I had not ever done before. So 
it was great. And when the session was over, I felt really, really good last night. Like I felt like a weight was lifted off me. I felt really good. Um, but not so much today, <laughs> but anyway, um, but I did want to share that with you. So it's really just more of the same, you know, like we just can't, we can't dwell on the symptoms. We have to stand up to them. We have to sometimes treat them like they're a bully. I mean, there's the whole part of like, you know, we need to accept them and allow them and relax into them and just tell ourselves, I'm okay. This isn't a problem. This is just something my nervous system's doing right now. I have to accept it and allow it. But then there's the other part of it too. Sometimes we have to get a little tougher and we have to actually say, whoa, wait a minute. And we have to set boundaries for the symptoms or the sensations and say, no, we're not going there. I'm in control and I'm not going to let you boss me around. So there's that part of it. So that's basically it. I just wanted to give you a little update on how that session went. And um, yeah, so that's it, guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.